sometimes we find ourselves in a situation that makes us a hero for a day. For this lady soldier, that time came days after Typhoon Yolanda made landfall in Tacloba. This is the story of Corporal Anjanet Obligado. Anong nakita mo? Devastation. Mga tao kawawa, gutom. Hindi ko ba explain eh, parang nanonood ka sa movie, yung parang mga end of the world sa mga movies. Ganun po eh, parang lahat nagmamakaawa. Mga silang bahay, patay na tao. Parang hindi mo na ma-picture out kung saan ba banda yung mga pinupuntahan namin lagi. Anong na-feel mo nun? I cried. Para din po naman sa airport, wala, iyak na iyak ako ma'am. Pero hindi ko alam, wala naman ako. Sabi ko, mayaman lang ako, magbibigay ako ng maraming pera sa mga to, sa pagkain. After Typhoon Yolanda hit the Visayas, AJ flew to Tacloban to check on her husband's family. After seeing that the family was alive and well, she headed back to the military cargo plane she arrived in to catch a ride to Manila. Little did she know, an unexpected mission awaits her. So, biglang may umakap sa akin, ma'am, na babae na parang nasusuka, na ihilo. Sabi niya sa akin, tulungan ko daw siya, wag ko daw siya iwan. So, ma'am, dinala, tumagpo ako ng ibang kasama, ng ibang naka-uniforme din sundalo. Dinala po namin doon sa makeshift hospital, ma'am. So, napaupo na po muna ako, ma'am, sa gilid. Doon po ma'am, napansin po ako na yung babae na medyo may blood pa po yung blanket niya. Nagkausap po kami, ma'am, nag-iyakan. So, and then, narealize ko po na dapat hindi ako umiyak. Dapat, ibang gusto ako para sa babae nito, para sa mother nito. And then, nakita ko po yung baby. Naawa po ako sa baby. So, I asked permission from the mother. Ako po, hindi ko siyang bigyan ng milk kasi nag-breastfeed po, po ako sa sarili ko pong anak. So, pumayag naman po, ma'am. She went on to breastfeed two other babies. One baby was under the care of her grandfather. AJ recalls seeing the baby restless, so she breastfed the child. I saw my brother, who was with his baby, and then I was talking to him. I asked him why he was with his brother, his brother. What he said was that he was with his wife because he was with his wife. So I saw my baby, he was uneasy, he was afraid. Kinausap ko po ma'am yung lolo kung pwede daw po. Pwede ko po siya mabigyan ng mal... So kinuha ko ma'am, pumayag daw din yung lolo ma'am. Good thing ma'am nakatulog po yung baby. Then there was baby number three. She asked the baby's family why they were fleeing. Their answer, there was no place for them to buy milk for the infant. AJ once again selflessly offered hers. Hindi ko bakit po kayo aalis? Kasi wala na mabilhang mer. So naalala ko, meron pa po ako. Parang ginagawa ko yun, parang out of mother instinct. Diba, ewan ko, nanay po, first time mommy po ako. And then I love my baby so much. So parang pag tinuloy ko yung mga baby, parang inakaw ko lang lang sila na that time baby ko sila. For this lady soldier, her kindness did not only help those in need on that tragic day. Through social media, her good deed helped raise awareness to the public, prompting a generous donation of milk for the children of Tacloban. AJ may be just an ordinary soldier to many, but to those lives she touched and to those she inspired, she is a hero and a not-so-ordinary person. This segment was brought to you by ASCO. Sa simula ng cough, maging naturalista sa pag-agap sa ubo with clinically proven safe and effective ASCOF.